By-elections don't matter until they do. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. By-elections are a funny thing. If your party wins, you want to make a big deal of it. If your party loses, oh, it was no big deal and we were never going to win anyway. I'm of the view that they only really matter if there is something out of the ordinary in them. You know, when you get a by-election where the Liberals were always expected to win the seat or the Conservatives were always expected to win, hmm, doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So why do the by-election results in Durham, where Jamil Giovanni won handily, why do they matter? It's not because Giovanni won. He was always going to win. He was running in at Durham, the seat that Aaron O'Toole had, and before him, Bev Oda. The Conservatives have held it for 20 years now. So yeah, they were going to win. But did anyone expect them to win by 35 points? Giovanni took 57.5% of the vote in the Monday by-election. The Liberals were down at 22.5% of the vote. And the NDP, 105 the NDP were at 10 and a half percent of the vote. Not that long ago in Durham, the NDP would challenge for second place. Now they're barely hitting double digits. Okay, so all the parties have to be interested in these numbers. The Conservatives obviously ecstatic, 57%. That's up from the last election by 11 points. That's all good. And they won. And I think Giovanni's going to be a fine MP. He's a former Sun colleague, former Sun columnist, good man, expect good things from. So, but beyond that, beyond the 57%, this shows that the polling that we're seeing is generally headed in the right direction. It's accurate. It's bad for the Liberals. Wasn't expecting the NDP, more on that in a minute, but the Liberals at 22.5%, that has to be sending shockwaves through PMO and Liberal HQ. It is that bad. What do they do about it? Is there anything they can do about it? Secondly, they have to be worried why the NDP vote didn't fall in behind them. In this part of Ontario, in the GTA, if the NDP vote collapses, it generally falls in line behind the Liberals. It's New Democrats saying, oh, I'm going to vote Liberal to stop the, uh, the Conservatives. That didn't happen here. Did they just stay home? Or did some of them, as I think, go and back Giovanni? Because he's a, a, a working-class, blue-collar Conservative with a Yale Law degree. Um, I think some of them went to them. The NDP has to be concerned that they're falling apart here in a riding that they used to be second in. The Liberals, they have to be worried that the polling's accurate. Poll after poll giving a 16, 17 point lead. Well, on Monday, the Conservatives doubled that to 35%. And lastly, when it comes to should Trudeau stay or should he go, I'm not sure that this enters into the equation. Colleague Warren Kinsella, he thinks this will help put Trudeau out of office by April. We'll wait and see. The waiting game, the guessing game continues, but not for Jamil Giovanni. He is headed to Parliament. Let us know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.